Hello, my name is Jason Hagley. I'm the region agronomist for Winfield United in the state of Illinois. And I'm here at the Decatur, Illinois answer plot with Mike Probst, who's a uh, technical uh, service representative for uh, BASF. And we want to spend a few minutes talking about you know, fungicide applications here in the summer of 2020, and specifically the plant health benefits of a fungicide application. Um, here in our answer plot demos uh, that we're standing right in front of, uh, we made a Veltima application at V15 about 10 days ago. And so we're out here looking for um, you know, potential differences that we can detect with the right equipment at this point in the growing season, even though we don't have a lot of disease present on these plants at this point in time. Uh, so Mike, why don't you talk a little bit about plant health benefits of uh, a fungicides and specifically what we're looking for here in these plots today. Sure, so disease is an important aspect of plant health and it's something that we always have to keep in mind. But there are other aspects of plant health that we also have to keep in mind, such as how the plant is responding to the environmental stresses that it's going to be facing basically day in and day out, right? So if we think about the past weather that we've been having here, we've faced some uh, pretty hot conditions. Uh, some areas have faced some dry conditions. So we also have some environmental stresses that the crop's going to be facing. So the plant health does go beyond disease control to where we can help these plants mitigate or control how they respond to these environmental stresses as well. So that includes uh, decreasing ethylene production within the plant, which ethylene is going to cause uh, the plant to start shutting down a little earlier than we want it to. Uh, we can help it uh, control how it reacts to oxidative stress, uh, which is going to cause plant uh, tissue damage as well. And I think one of the most relevant things for this time of year is basically maintaining that canopy temperature a little bit cooler so that we keep those plants cooler and happier. So one of the plant's responses to stress is to actually close its stomata to conserve water. But the problem is that that stomata acts kind of like the thermostat of the plant to where now if it's closed, it can't control the temperature the way that it wants to and it can actually start getting hotter. And we want to maintain that cooler camp, uh, canopy temperature, uh, keep that transpiration where we want it, and that plant's going to be happier. And that's kind of what we're seeing out here today. Sure. Well, I think you made some, some great points there, Mike. And, you know, particularly at this point in the season where we're at, you know, R1 or silking, uh, you know, this is the point in the year where water use by this crop is going to be the, the greatest as far as a transpiration rate you know, potential per day. And so anything that we can do from a crop management perspective or a fungicide application perspective, you know, to help those somata stay open and, and using that water as efficiently as possible is going to be a, a benefit for the crop. Um, you know, even though we're not seeing that disease um, that we would typically associate with a fungicide application at this point. So, what are some of the ways in which you might you know, measure um, those differences in canopy temperature? How would you go about that? Sure. So we actually have uh, some new technology that we've been um, testing out these past couple of years that allows us to visualize what we basically haven't been able to visualize in the past. And that's the result of keeping those stomata open and allowing the plant to maintain that cooler canopy. So we actually have a device that we can attach to uh, you know, our iPhones and things like that that measures the temperature of the canopy of a, you know, a treated versus an untreated such as what we have behind us and displaying the differences in temperature within that canopy. So uh, we, we did a little messing around with that here earlier and I think we got some pretty interesting differences. Sure. So what type of differences do we see here, Mike, as far as a temperature difference and, and you know, what are your thoughts on how that would equate to you know, potential yield differences at the end of the season? Sure. So what we tested out was we had one untreated plot, so uh, no fungicide applied versus another plot that had Veltima applied about 10 days ago. Uh, and then it's gone through some of the stresses that we talked about earlier, some high temperatures, maybe even a little lack of moisture. And we did find some, some good differences in there. Uh, we saw uh, different thermal responses within those canopies and we detected about a one to one and a half degrees Celsius temperature difference with that Veltima treated plot actually being a little bit cooler, which is what we would expect with the stomata staying open and kind of that thermostat being able to regulate the canopy temperature as well. So we all know that corn crops like to maintain a cooler canopy. So with that cooler canopy, I think it's gonna allow the crop to kind of ignore that heat stress a little bit more and basically continue acting and producing the way that we want it to, which is to try to put on more bushels. Yeah, excellent. So, um, you know, kind of going back to this plant health idea, you know, every year Winfield United does fungicide testing on our ranch plots, you know, on individual hybrids, as well as looking at different fungicide products like Veltima. And, you know, a couple things that we see is that there are those hybrids, those high response to fungicide hybrids that, you know, always respond to a fungicide or have a more, um, you know, frequent response to a fungicide, uh, even in the absence of disease. And then also in our fungicide product trials where we, we actually rate disease, you know, over the last two years, we've seen that we have a fungicide response of so about 10 bushels per acre, um, even when we don't have a lot of disease out there. So those two pieces of evidence would suggest that there is 
a plant health benefit associated with you know, some of the uh, you know the better fungicide products like Veltima. And I would encourage growers to you know, continue to think and, and actively um, you know, make those fungicide applications in 2020. Um, even though we have low commodity prices, which you know, may cause some to think about you know, taking that fungicide out of the, the cropping plan, or you know, in some cases with the, the dry weather conditions and the lack of disease that we see currently, uh, there may be some, some doubts about making that fungicide application. Um, but you know, some of the things you've shared about plant health benefits and some of the things that we see in our ants plot data um, you know, would suggest that we need to continue to, to make those fungicide applications you know, on the right hybrids, um, you know, in this 2020 growing season. So thanks for joining us, joining us here today at the Decatur Answer Plot.